Senior Awards Program. Colonel, Mrs. Brown, faculty and staff, families and friends, and finally the class of 2020. Welcome to our Senior Awards recognition during the COVID-19 season. Despite the challenges of the spring, the class of 2020 has reached the end of its race and what a race it's been. We have a technical end of the school year with the final semester exams and the recording of the final grades and the completion of the last graduation requirements. Later this summer, we will gather again to physically celebrate and honor both cadets and their families. But now, we take this time to honor the accomplishments of seniors. This is indeed a special time. Before we move on to individual awards, let me take a moment to give some additional information on the achievements of the Band of Brothers that came together to form the Class of 2020. We have 34 graduates. Their respective future schools will be announced via social media in a senior video. But let me be clear that the objective has always been to provide options and to strive to match up the cadet with the right college or situation. Among our seniors, we find the following, six honor graduates, 13 cadets with advanced studies diplomas, six members of the Beta Service Club, two are Iron Tiger athletes having earned a varsity letter in three different sports, five seniors have been named to all conference athletic teams in our abbreviated, abbreviated athletic year of just a fall and winter season. Nine have led small group devotions in music or as part of the Spiritual Emphasis Week program. So how do all those numbers translate into the next step? Ninety-four had acceptances to 75 unique colleges or universities. I'm sorry, that was 94 acceptances amongst the 35, 34 seniors to 75 unique colleges or universities. The average senior had 3.2 acceptances, matching a safety, reach, reasonable choice uh, type of school. Some had a plethora of schools to choose from, while others had a dream school that they single-mindedly pursued. Over 35% of the class were offered partial or full scholarships for academic, merit, athletic, or national service reasons. The median size of these scholarship offers was $22,000 per year. Three cadets will be attending a junior or senior military college, either because they believe in the military model for education or in pursuit of a, of a professional military career. Five has signed national letters of intent to play sports at the collegiate level, where they will undoubtedly continue to honor their sports, the student athlete model, and themselves. As a whole, this group has earned $2.6 million awarded in scholarships for that next step. This, of course, does not include the three quarters of a million dollars recorded to our postgraduate basketball program participants. In this video, we will recognize cadets for various traits of excellence, dedication, effort, willingness to sacrifice, and the willingness to address and overcome obstacles, whether it be in the classroom, playing fields, or in the community of cadets. We will begin tonight with the subject awards. Academic departments establish criteria for each award and it, it is not necessarily for the top academic average. Several awards are named in honor of former faculty, staff, or cadets. I'm sure you will hear some cadet, some comments about those individuals as their awardees take their place in a legacy of excellence that extends back to 1909. Thank you. The Academic Excellence Award for U.S. Government is named after Alan Sands who was a teacher at Hargrave Military Academy for 27 years, serving as a dedicated instructor and mentor to both the cadets and his colleagues that served and worked with him. Allen also spent many years leading the social studies department as chairman. What I remember best about Allen was his loyalty to both the academy and the mission of the school and how he always had time for both his fellow colleagues and cadets. For so many years, Allen was able to touch the hearts and minds of so many cadets. His legacy will continue to live on through them and all that knew him. This year's Allen Forster Sands Academic Excellence Award for United States Government 
goes to a young man that I've had the pleasure of teaching this year at Hargrave. This cadet has worked extremely hard during the entire school year to maintain an overall average of 93. While in class, this cadet has shown a strong interest in the subject material being covered, as well as voicing his opinion while respecting the ideas and opinions of his fellow classmates. I truly feel that his work ethic, preparedness, and consistency will serve him well as he starts a new chapter in his life as a freshman at Western Carolina University next year. The 2019-2020 Allen Forrester Sands Academic Excellence Award for AP U.S. Government goes to Cadet Jack Benjamin. The Spanish Award. The Spanish Award is presented to a cadet who has demonstrated an exceptional talent for the study of the Spanish language and its diverse culture. Qualifications for the award are determined by achieving a high grade average, showing a strong work ethic, and an unwavering leadership in the classroom. This year's recipient has achieved a high level of fluency in the Spanish language. It is my distinct privilege and a true honor to recognize with the Spanish award, Cadet Gabriel Chester. The Journalism Award. The Journalism Award is awarded to the cadet who demonstrates the drive necessary to design and carry out the creation of Hargrave's yearbook. This year's Journalism Award goes to A.J. Thomas. As senior editor, not only did Cadet Thomas demonstrate the utmost diligence and leadership in the classroom, he also invested countless hours outside of the classroom to ensure Hargrave had a polished and professional yearbook. Cadet Thomas's most noteworthy accomplishment was his role in developing our Through the Ranks theme and carrying that theme throughout the yearbook. Congratulations, Cadet Thomas, and thank you for your hard work and dedication. The Ray B. Nichols English Award is named for the longtime English teacher known fondly as Colonel Nick, who taught at Hargrave for 42 years. It is presented by the English department chair each year to a senior or postgraduate in critical reading and writing dual enrollment for scholastic excellence in English. This year's recipient came to Hargrave last summer for summer school and then returned in the fall for his senior year. I had the pleasure of teaching him in that summer school class and I was very happy to see his name on my critical reading and writing roster in August. He is a first-rate student with an even temperament and a great attitude. He gets along well with faculty and fellow students alike. However, what stands out the most to me is his dedication. When we switched over to online instruction due to COVID-19, he faithfully attended class at 0900 Eastern Daylight Time every A-Day morning and continued to produce first-rate work. However, it is important to note it was not 0900 where he was. In Alaska, it was 0500. I am pleased to present the Ray B. Nichols English Award to Mason Shragi. Congratulations. The Outstanding Science Award is named in honor of Carl W. Burke. Lieutenant Colonel Burke spent over three decades of his life at Hargrave as a chemistry and physics instructor as well as science department chair. In addition to being an excellent instructor who was willing to contribute to all aspects of school life from acting as summer school commandant to bandmaster to science department chair. Prior to coming to Hargrave, Mr. Burke served in the United States Navy, graduated from Elon College and worked as a professional chemist. Many alumni have fond memories of the various pranks that he would pull on sleeping or inattentive cadets. But all would agree that he instilled a curiosity in science and prepared them well for college and beyond. 
a devoted father, husband, and Christian servant, Lieutenant Colonel Burke strove to exemplify the well-rounded citizen scientist. This year's recipient is Nathan Kanya. The Randall Reese Bandsman Award is reserved for any bandsman who has shown tremendous dedication and loyalty to the Hargrave Music Program. Named in honor of a former Hargrave band director, it honors a cadet that demonstrates a musical passion and upholds the highest traditions of the music program. This year's awardee continually demonstrated his professional and military bearing as the band's drum major. The Randall Reese Bandsman Award goes to Tristan Gavulik. The Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence is presented to a senior cadet who displays traits that the Marine Corps considers essential to being a good leader. Endurance, knowledge, unselfishness, dependability, enthusiasm, loyalty, and musical excellence as a performing high school bandsman and or soloist. This year's awardee routinely performed as a soloist and led the Highlanders in rehearsals and performances. The Semper Fidelis Award goes to Bennett Souls. The Landon Spradlin Bible Award is awarded to a cadet who has successfully completed the chaplain's Bible survey course in the current academic year. The cadet recipient is someone who consistently displayed a teachable attitude and who demonstrated an inquisitive appreciation for the material. This year's awardee always put forth his best effort and served as an example to his fellow cadets. The 2019 to 2020 Landon Spradlin Bible Award recipient is Sebastian Richardson. The following awards will be presented to members of the graduating class of 2020. Thank you to all the senior leaders for your enduring contributions to Hargrave, uh, for sharing your talents, your abilities, and your time as leaders of the Hargrave Corps of Cadets. Well done, gentlemen and congratulations to all seniors on a successful year. The first Senior Military Department Award to be presented is the Davis Arthur Fitchett Most Improved Award. This award goes to the senior who has shown growth and maturity, has thrived in a military school atmosphere, and has improved academically during the year. This year's Davis Arthur Fitchett Most Improved Award goes to Cadet Captain Aiden Thomas. Congratulations. The next award is the Military Order of the Purple Heart Award. The Military Order of the Purple Heart Award recognizes outstanding achievement and exceptional leadership ability over the course of the academic year. The Military Order of the Purple Heart Award for this year goes to Cadet Sergeant First Class Cameron Smith Ebel. The following award will be presented is the Military Order of World Wars. The Military Order of World Wars Award is given to the graduating senior who embodies the spirit of communication, cooperation, and displays strong leadership qualities. This year's Military Order of World Wars Awardee is, present, is presented to Cadet First Lieutenant Mason Schrage. The National Association of Military Schools Award recipient may be a junior or a senior. The recipient must hold the rank of Sergeant First Class or above. He must consistently display qualities of sound moral principles, bravery, faithfulness, determination, leadership, fitness, responsibility, and purpose. Your awardee also displayed a continuous high degree of excellence and purpose and maintained a high standard in his overall appearance. The winner of this year's National Association of Military Schools Award and a two-time awardee this particular award goes to Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Kennedy. The next Senior Military Department Award is the Outstanding Military Presence Award. The recipient of this award shall be a cadet who consistently displays excellence in his de deportment, genuine respect towards superiors and peers alike, and one who truly employs the character trait of citizenship. Lastly, this cadet ensures that his personal grooming standards, as well as his barracks room, are always maintained in a high state of readiness. 
The winner of this year's Outstanding Military Presence Award goes to Cadet Major Elijah Benjamin. Congratulations. The Charles Warren Whittle Award recognizes the cadet who displayed outstanding qualities of personal integrity, courage, loyalty, determination, leadership, and competence throughout the academic year. Your 2020 Charles Warren Whittle Award winner is Cadet Staff Sergeant Gabriel Chester. The next Military Department Award to be presented is the Patrick Henry Award. The Patrick Henry Award is presented to a member of the senior class who has best demonstrated the quality of patriotism on a daily basis. Your 2020 Patrick Henry Award winner is Cadet Captain James Ward. The Commandant's Award is presented annually to the graduating senior who has developed his moral character and exhibited unquestionable integrity. The awarded cadet fully embraces the Hargrave military code and consistently strives to help his fellow cadets. He always puts himself last as he faces adversity with competence and fortitude. This year's Commandant's Award winner goes to Cadet Captain Charles Moreno. Congratulations. The next award to be presented is the Bill McMillan American Spirit Award. The criteria for this award, as proposed by the McMillan family, will nominate a cadet, a senior cadet, who is respectful, outgoing, and gets along with the Hargrave faculty and staff. The awardee will also have respect for our country and his patriotic traditions, is well respected by his peers, and is willing to help a fellow student, teammate, or staff or faculty member. He must have, a, uh, he must have been a cadet for a minimum of two years and have a 2.75 grain point average minimum or higher. This year's Bill McMillan American Spirit Award goes to Cadet Sebastian Richardson. The final Senior Military Department Award goes, uh, is the Cadet of the Year Award. Uh, the Cadet of the Year Award is presented to the cadet who epitomizes the title Scholarly Athletic Leader. He is a cadet who has embraced Hargrave's core values. He is a cadet who is observed on a routine basis, assisting his fellow cadets with whatever situations or problems they are presented with. And he consistently ex exhorts others to strive for excellence. This cadet is a team player, possesses that can-do attitude, and gives 110% in every task assigned. This cadet is totally committed to Hargrave, the Hargrave Military Academy and to its mission. The 2019-2020 Cadet of the Year Award is presented to Joseph Scott Kennedy. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the Military Department Senior Awards. I want to say congratulations once again to all of our senior leaders, both those who were recognized here and those who were not. Uh, thank you for your dedicated leadership to the Corps of Cadets this year. Uh, you have successfully written a chapter in Hargrave's long volume legacy of developing leaders of character. And you have some amazing years ahead of you. Keep leading. God's blessing on each one of you and Semper Fidelis. The Colin Powell Leadership Medal was established to recognize Hargrave cadets who demonstrate achievement within Hargrave's four pillars of academics, athletics, and fitness, character development, and spiritual growth. In addition, the medal represents a commitment to the Hargrave Leadership and Character Development Program as prescribed by Hargrave's Honor Code, policies, regulations, and as administered by the Center for Leadership and Ethics. The opportunity to earn the prestigious Colin Powell Leadership Medal is available to all cadets who meet the rigorous requirements to include favorable completion of the Leadership One course and have successfully served in a leadership position within the Corps of Cadets for one year. Today we will recognize two deserving cadets who have taken the initiative during remote learning to apply for this prestigious award. Each recipient will receive an engraved Colin Powell Leadership Medal with commemorative case and a certificate for achievement signed by the director, Center for Leadership and Ethics. The certificate reads, for your exemplary achievement within all facets of the Hargrave Leadership and Character Building Programs, your personal example of excellence embodies Hargrave's commitment to building young men into leaders of character prepared for lifelong success. Your action reflects great credit on you, your family, and the proud traditions of Hargrave Military Academy. The director, 
Center for, Colum, Center for Leadership and Ethics proudly awards the General Colin Powell Leadership Medal to Cadet Major Eli Benjamin and Cadet Captain Jack Benjamin. At this time, I would like to recognize the graduates who are members of the Beta Club. The National Beta Club was founded in 1934 on the principles of academic achievement, character, leadership, and service. The Hargrave Military Academy chapter of the National Beta Club was established in 1955. Selection to the National Beta Club is considered a distinct honor and privilege, and it is recognized by all major colleges and universities. The Beta Club is a service organization. Its motto is let us lead by serving others. The members of the class of 2020 who have been previously recognized as a member of the Beta Club and their diplomas are so uh, no noted are Nathaniel Kenya, Joseph Scott Kennedy, John Perry, Daniel Pierce, Bennett Souls, and Jarrett St. John. Honor graduates. To, do, to be declared an honor graduate, cadets must achieve the following requirements. They, may have they must complete a series of honors, AP, and dual enrollment courses. They must also have a cumulative GPA of 3.3 or above at the conclusion of seven semesters and the cadet must have a minimum of two consecutive years at the academy at graduation. Elijah Benjamin. Nathaniel Kenya. Joseph Scott Kennedy. John Perry V. Daniel Pierce. And Bennett Souls. The recognition of the salutatorian and valedictorian is always a highlight of any graduation. It is a proud moment for the graduating class, their faculty and staff, and of course, their respective families and the two men being recognized. The salutatorian and valedictorian awards are based on the highest two grade point averages for all four years of academic work completed at an accredited institution. Both the valedictorian and salutatorian must have attended Hargrave Military Academy for a minimum of their junior and senior year and have met the requirements for an advanced study diploma. Our salutatorian for the 111th graduating class of Hargrave Military Academy is Cadet First Lieutenant Bennett Souls. Bennett is the son of Dr. and Mrs. Donald Souls from Smithfield, Virginia. Bennett began as a rising eighth grader in the summer of 2015. He currently serves as the band company commander. He has been on the honor roll 28 marking periods at Hargrave. His accomplishments have, have been recognized by induction in the Beta Club, the Colin Powell Leadership Medal, the Mar Martha C. Rucker Prize, and the Semper Fidelis Award. In the community, he has been involved in several volunteer efforts to include food banks in Smithfield, Virginia, Operation Gratitude, Operation Christmas Child, Stop Hunger Now in the Special Olympics. He has participated in several fundraising activities for worthy causes. On the athletic competition side, he has earned letters in four sports, cross country, golf, swimming, and soccer. Bennett will attend Christopher Newport University where he intends to study international relations. I present to you the salutatorian of the class of 2020, Cadet First Lieutenant Bennett Souls. Our valedictorian for the 111th graduating class of Hargrave Military Academy is Cadet Captain Nathaniel Vincent Kenya. Nathan is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Vincent Kenya of Danville, Virginia. He has been on the President's Honor Roll every marking period in grades 9, 10, and 11. Having finished the majority of his high school requirements, his senior year included several college credit courses. Rest assured that his academic performance didn't change as he's been named to the President's Commendation Honor Roll for every marking period 
a an honor that is usually restricted to postgraduate students. Among his numerous awards and activities are serving as Vice President of the Beta Club, Chairman of the Honor Council, Presidential Ambassador, and the Rensselaer Medal. He has countless volunteer hours and opportunities to work with special needs children and adults, tutoring, packaging food, and Christmas packages for the needy. He has served as the Bravo Company Commander and the Battalion S4. On the athletic fields, he's been a member of the varsity soccer, football, basketball, and golf teams. He continues to, he plans to continue his education at Hampton City College, where he's leaning towards studying economics when he is not pursuing his dreams on the basketball court. All right, well, that, that concludes our academic side of things. And um, just give me a moment here to unmute Colonel Brown and he'll have some comments. Hey, good evening, four cadets, class of 2020. Uh, congratulations to all those that were uh, recognized with awards. They were well-earned and deserved. It's good to see all of you. I'm glad you could take some time. Uh, we're trying to replicate you know, senior picnic, senior dinner, uh, recognition, even though we have to do it virtually. Uh, you should know now you're officially finished with high school. Grades will be posted next week with transcripts available. However, diplomas will be presented at graduation uh, along with other awards, certificates, and plaques, and those types of things. Uh, graduation is gonna be here on campus on July 18th. Uh, more details to follow. Uh, I know for you all, and also for us here on campus, it's been a whirlwind these past two months. Uh, if you think about it, literally 60 days ago, uh, the governor closed our schools and, and off you rushed home. Uh, seems like only yesterday, but also seems like ages ago. Uh, you've had to miss some Hargrave events here on campus uh, and the great times you would have had as brothers uh, in your core cadets. Uh, we, can't, we can't change that. Uh, and I, again, I, I empathize and sympathize with you guys for not being able to finish out your senior year uh, here on campus and all the fun and great memories that could have been made those last two months. Uh, these past two months, you've been tested. Uh, your character was put to the test uh, while you were at home. How'd you do? That's what I'd ask you. How'd you do? From where I sit, I'm proud of what you accomplished. But only you can judge how well uh, you accomplished it the last two months. You've got two more months to go before we conduct the graduation ceremony. You're stepping into summer tomorrow, uh, and I'm sure all of you have some sort of plans. Uh, I know some are heading off to boot camp. Uh, some have travel plans. Uh, some are going to be working. Some are even starting college already. Uh, that would be Marino. Uh, he, he loves the academics. Uh, but no matter what you decide to do, you should know this. You are prepared for lifelong success. You know our core values. They've been instilled in you day in and day out to varying degrees. You know and understand respect, integrity, courage, faith, service, knowledge, and excellence. It's a foundation to build a life on. You know what it means to be a leader, to have an exercise character, and to live a life that sets the example for others. You have all the tools you need to accomplish whatever you set your mind to, no matter what it is. The question is, how will you use these tools? You fundamentally know right from wrong. You know how to give respect and how to gain respect. You know how to make the right decision for the right reason at the right time. The core values taught are the foundation of your character. Character is built at hard grades and it will be tested the rest of your life starting tomorrow. You're officially graduated from high school. We'll see you in July at graduation, uh, but tomorrow the rest of your life starts. You're gonna face some circumstances where you're gonna have to choose. You're gonna have to make decisions and then you're gonna have to take action. Uh, whether it be this summer or off to college or maybe in the work environment, you're going to be faced with temptations like alcohol, vaping, drugs, sex, cheating, lying, all these things, uh, breaking laws, all these things are going to face you uh, at some point in the near future. What will you do? I trust you will be a Hargrave man. 
and live up to the legacy that you're now a part of. It may not mean as much now, but it will mean more and more each day of your life. You've accomplished more during your time at Hargrave than most of your peers have ever accomplished. You may not see it yet, but if you choose to live as a Hargrave man, how a Hargrave man can and should live, you'll find yourself head and shoulders above those around you. You'll be viewed differently, treated differently, and doors of opportunity will open, which would not have opened otherwise. I gotta tell you, I'm very, very proud of you. Whether you've been here one year or six years, you steadied the course and rose through the ranks, faced the challenges that are presented at Hargrave, and you should be proud of what you've accomplished. And most importantly, you should have the confidence, confidence to step out into the world knowing you can accomplish anything you set your mind to and do it with honor. I know you can and most of you will. Graduation is on July 18th and we all look forward to seeing you here on campus. Uh, the campus has not been the same with you guys not here. Uh, you've been truly missed. Uh, most of the staff, faculty, tax and coaches, you know, we love Hargrave because of you guys. Uh, through all the, the fun, through all the anger, uh, through all the situations, uh, through all the funny times and the not so funny times. Uh, we love having you here on campus and we love each and every one of you in our special way. Uh, graduation again is July 18th. We look forward to seeing you here. We're going to celebrate the class of 2020. You owe it to each other to seal the bonds of brotherhood uh, that only Hargrave men know. And you need to seal those bonds at graduation. You've been through much, you've been through too much not to seal those bonds at graduation. So I look forward to seeing you here. I, I personally want to thank you for being a great bunch of cadets, truly. Uh, through it all this past year, I've grown uh, knowing you and you've made me a better man. And I appreciate that. I'll have great memories from this past year, but I only have one thing left to say to the class of 2020 right now. Stop moving. I hope Kennedy's on the line. Uh, I'm going to ask Chaplain Felty to close in prayer. Again, I want to congratulate everybody for their awards. Um, you can stay on the line, uh, you and your parents, and if you have any uh, questions about graduation or things coming up or, or just want to look at each other's goofy pictures on this computer screen, uh, please stick around. I look forward to seeing you at graduation, and um, uh, we'll celebrate in grand style, and we're going to make it a very special occasion for you and your families. So I look forward to that day in a couple months. Uh, Chaplain, if you will, please close us in a word of prayer, and then we'll stay on the line for uh, any uh, Q&A that may uh, need to take place. Thanks again, Corps Cadets. You have my utmost respect. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity that we've had to gather together in a virtual day we thank you for the Hargrave senior class of 2020 and that we've been able to reflect back on the year and celebrate the accomplishments of these cadets. We know that all good gifts come from you and, and that all that we are and all that we are able to do is because of your workmanship and your grace. Through these particularly challenging times, we praise you for your faithfulness in sustaining us. And as we look forward with hopeful anticipation to what these young men will accomplish. We give you the praise and the glory for it all and ask for your protection, your guidance, and your favor on each of these cadets as they prepare for new pursuits and new adventures. To God be the praise. Amen.